एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम Have you ever wondered how a 3D object is being produced on a plain piece of paper? In this video, we'll learn the concept of the same. Welcome to X Chand Academy. I am Anmol Bhatia, and in this uh, video, we'll be learning the concept of isometric projections. If you want to study the concept in detail, you can refer to the book by S. Chand Publishing. The link of the book is there in the description box below. This is lecture number 11 of the series uh, Engineering Drawing uh, course. And in this uh, lecture, we'll be learning about isometric projections. Uh, before starting the concept, let me just tell you that uh, we are on uh, module number five and so far we have covered these four modules uh, in the last uh, video we have covered the module number four which is sections and sectional views of the solids now in this uh, lecture we'll be starting about uh, starting the concept of isometric projections uh, the syllabus as per the curriculum is projections isometric projection principles, isometric scales and isometric views. So in this first part of the video, we'll be learning about these concepts of isometric projections, uh, isometric scales and isometric views. And then uh, in the later part of the video, we'll be learning uh, the concept of isometric scales. So this yellow indicates the first part and this isometric scale we'll be learning in the second part of this video. So let's understand the concept of isometric drawing first before uh, uh, coming to the uh, major concepts. So isometric drawing is basically a pictorial projection and this indicates all the three dimensions of the object in one view. That would be surprisingly uh, an excellent task of a draftman or a designer to indicate all the three views of uh, the object in a single piece of drawing. So how do we do that? We have these three axes, x axis, y axis and z axis. So we label these axis as L, H and the geometrical axis. So L, H, D or you can label them as X, Y and Z. So ISO word means equal. So here this isometric drawing consists of the word which is ISO and ISO means equal length and equal angles. So here the purpose of this isometric drawing is what is to understand the overall shape, size and appearance of an object prior to its production. So what we have seen in the previous part of the videos that uh, we have to give front view, top view and the side view to the worker or the manufacturer so that he understands the dimensions carefully. But in some of the situations after uh, the production of the entire part, the draftman would be interested in uh, finding out that uh, how does the object look like whenever it is being uh, manufactured finally. So in order to have a glimpse of what is being produced finally we have this isometric projections which is the 3d projections or the 3d views now uh, we have to understand some technical terms which are associated with isometric uh, projections let's say we have this base and this base is inclined at equal angles with the x-axis and this z-axis so we have the axis x axis which is indicated by this h the y axis which is indicated by this g and the z axis which is indicated by this f so the angle is 30 degree and when you uh, draw these angles and extend uh, these two lines with the help of perpendicular angles or 90 degree so you will have these angular representation of the blocks at an angle of 120 degree. 
so complete angle is 360 and we divide that 360 angle into three parts so i'll get this 120 value so what happens there uh, there are three lines you can see in the diagram one line is this al another is ad and another is this ah so these all are meeting at a common point and they are making an angles of 120 degree with each other and they are called as isometric axis. So the axis that you can see here, these axis are called as the isometric axis. Then there are axis which are parallel to these lines and they are called as isometric lines. The planes they, that these lines represent, they are called as isometric planes. So you have lines which are inclined to each other at an angle of 120 degrees they are called as isometric axis and then the lines which are parallel to these axes are called as isometric lines and finally you have the planes and these planes are called as the isometric planes. Now coming to the concept of isometric scale, see what happens let's say whenever a person watches a 3D object, so there is some reduction in the length. As per the definition, you can see that when one holds the object in such a way that the three dimensions are visible. So in that process, the dimensions are proportionally inclined to observer's sight. So the observer and watches these uh, dimensions like this. So uh, he watches perpendicularly, but he holds uh, when a person holds the object, then these dimensions would become proportional to the line of sight of the observer. So in that situation, these dimensions appear apparent in length. That means the dimensions would appear as a form of reduced length scenario. So for that situation, there is a reduction and that reduction is 9 by 11, which is an approximate value of the length and it forms a reducing scale. So ultimately it forms a reducing scale and in the isometric drawings, we have to use these lengths and generally we reduce the length by constructing the isometric scales. So isometric scales are being generally constructed in order to prepare the isometric projections of the drawings. In practice, generally we have this isometric projections. So whenever we want to produce isometric projections, we have to convert the true length into the isometric length by reducing or by converting the length or by forming this isometric scales. So this is done by constructing this isometric scales. So this is the situation and these are the concepts behind the isometric uh, drawings or the isometric views. Coming to the future uh, uh, the aspect, one thing uh, that I have used in my previous slide, one term was isometric view and another term was isometric projection. So what is isometric view and what is isometric projection? Whenever you are drawing uh, the three dimensional object to the true scale, that means if the length is having the exact value, let's say 10 mm and you are drawing 10 mm on the drawing, then you are making isometric view. So these lengths are the exact length which is the length or the height or the breadth of the object and whenever you convert these lengths into a reduced dimension case then that particular thing is called as isometric projection. So whenever these lengths are reduced by constructing those reducing scales then you name it as the isometric projections. So whenever the question demands to uh, create the isometric projections, you go for converting the length to the reduced form and whenever the question demands for uh, uh, performing this isometric view or for making the isometric view, you have to use the exact dimensions. Now uh, we have to understand that what part of uh, the view is being required by the question. So let's say I have the axis which is like this which is let's say this is x axis this is y axis 
and this is let's say the z-axis okay now uh, if the question says that draw the front view of the isometric drawing so you have to use or you have to work in this particular plane so for constructing the front view you have to work in this x y plane and for constructing the top view you have to work in this x z plane so in the future part of the video or in the later part of the video we will be learning about the construction of front view and the top view of the isometric drawings but uh, before that i would uh, clarify the concept of this reduced dimensions in the second part of the video so with this we come to the end of the first part of the video in which we have understood the concepts of isometric view isometric drawings and isometric projections also we have uh, learned something about the isometric scales which is reducing in nature so in the second part of the video we'll be learning a technique on how to draw that reducing scale which is called as isometric scale if you want to study the concept in detail you can refer to the book by s chand publishing the link of the book is there in the description box below if you find the video interesting like share subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for future updates thank you all rights reserved this video has been prepared for educational purposes only no part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder